As the specter of war looms large in the neighboring Democratic Republic of Congo, a former intelligence chief has come out to cast doubt over whether the allied Democratic Force rebels carried out the attack in Kamango near the Ugandan border. David Pulkor, who is a former external security organization boss, argues that the claims of the attack has since then elicited suspicion. Arguing that the volatile Eastern Congo is a sanctuary of many militias, Pulkor believes that the attack should be probed further. Is somebody organizing this? So why would ADF, if it is coming to attack Uganda, why would it quietly, why wouldn't it stealthily, like last time, it took us by surprise in Mpondwe? Why is it this time round shooting, does it have a sabasaba, long artillery, and therefore clearing the ground and so forth as it is moving into Uganda? What's Uganda government doing? So it doesn't make sense to me. Is this really ADF? Oh, there is more into this. The former spy chief, who is currently a member of the African Security Sector Network and an expert on the DRC conflict, however, says that if at all it's the ADF, the UPDF could defeat them. He fears that the timing of the ADF attack could destabilize the country already politically polarized. For me, ADF would not pose a threat. The ADF I knew. Even if they're 1,500, like you read in the newspapers, knowing the capacity of UPDF and the capacity of our government and the battle-hardenedness of our forces, that should not really threaten anybody. But I think the biggest threat today in Uganda is the disunity, the polarization of our politics, the disunity in our country. The, there is no we feeling. The government is doing, is on the other side. The ordinary people are on the other side. But the UPDF remains on alert on the borders and insists that there could be an imminent attack and remains ready to repel any attacks from the ADF, a rebellion whose ideology is anchored on a potent mixture of radical Islam and militants. Yes, as UPDF we have intelligence, reliable intelligence, that the attacks on the western side of mountain Ruenzo ranges in the direction of DRC are uh, by allied democratic forces, the terrorists that has been in that part of the country, which terrorize people and they flee from their homes. We know very well ADF has been there training, and they are aided by Al Shabab and Al Qaeda terrorists. So we have no doubt. The UPDF in the late 1990s dislodged the ADF from their sanctuary in the Renzori Mountains and the rebel group retreated towards the Ituli Forest in the DRC. But the recent intelligence reports from credible sources such as the United Nations indicates that the ADF have been regrouping. As the varying schools of thought continue to emerge over the attack, the refugees who fled the attack and are now in internally displaced camps in Bundibujo have their own story to tell. Twaraba, twaulira, emundu, zikola, chizikaba. We had gunshots and we saw the rebels who told us to leave because they wanted to pitch camp in Kamango. At the peak of the ADF rebel activity in the early 1990s, Uganda got sucked into the eastern DRC to deal with the rebels. But this actually soured the relationship between the Kinshasa and Kampala government. Currently, there is an open window for diplomatic talks if Uganda is to explore other alternatives. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.